Here we have a reading comprehension passage with set of three questions. Let's look at the first question. Why does the author highlight Keats' lines at the start of the passage? Statement A says the author explores how Keats' lines relate to mathematics. This is correct. Statement B says the author compares the string theory of mathematics with poems by Keats. This is incorrect as author does not relate the poem of Keats with string theory. Statement C says the author proves that Keats' famous lines applies to mathematics and science. This is also incorrect as the author does not prove anything. He just merely simply indicates to it. He simply explores the connection between Keats' lines and mathematics and hence the correct answer will be only A which is option A. The next question says which of the following is the most likely source of the passage? Option D is the answer to this question because the passage mentions the subject topics in the book and also in the other write-ups. Hence, this is a book review in which author goes on to compare the subjects mentioned in the book with other write-ups. The passage is a book review and hence options A and C are incorrect. Option B is also incorrect because the passage does not discuss false proofs as the option says here. Hence, the correct answer would be option D. Why has the string theory been described as beautiful and ugly at the same time? The answer to this question can be found in the second last paragraph. Is string theory beautiful? It promoters think so. But Smolin and Void believe that its recent absorption into a richer conjuncture called M-theory has turned the former beauty of strings into mathematical structures as ugly as epicycles. This gives us the answer as option C, which is string theory's recent interpretations have made it ugly to some, but the proponents of string theory find it beautiful.